have you have you heard that that new song uh uh with Lil Nas the Old Town Road? Yeah, I have. Uh, <laughs> I have. How do you feel about like about genres like crossing like you know like because it's country? It's you rap. know, Jay Z did that back. Kind of I day. think. <laughs> Oh, we did that. With There's Park. a lot of controversy with oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I think that if the intention is sincere, coming from that guy Lil Nas, right? Yeah. That's his name, yeah. Um, then I think that it should be, you know, in whatever genre it seems to be fit. And you know, they had a thing where they were just like, "It's not a country song," and it's like, "Well, I mean, it fits all the tropes. Yeah. It just doesn't fit the or the the sort of like traditional, you know, um, way that people perceive country music to be." Yeah. You know? It's a fusion. It so is. what's like it's Limp, Limp Bizkit like, or Chris Rock? What is that? Is that rock music or is that? That's like rock and rap. So that, that was like a whole thing. Oh, rock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was country rap. It's kind of like how Lincoln Park did the the rock and rap thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, you know, if it works, it works. Um, I think that th I can see how the people who are, especially like the sort of traditional country music fans, yeah, don't like it because you know, con country music follows a lot of those music tropes where of, of being sort of crafted in a way that takes time and care and also uses like organic instruments like you hear guitars you hear lap steels your bass drums and all that type of stuff but then again there's a thing that's happening called bro country where it's basically just like and it's just like is, that, is, is that what, what, what be like oh what, what, do, what do, is you it know, called bro bro country is that what uh, what uh, the butt rock country what nelly butt. was doing for a while no i'm more no? it's more like that like if it's meant to be it'll be it'll be but you know that song yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's just a beat with like a country sounding guy uh -huh. and then that's it it might as well it could just be a pop song it's just a pop song right, right. but they just throw a country twangy guy and then like maybe like an acoustic guitar or something or a banjo and then call it a country <laughs> song you know right. and so like the the traditional country fan you know some people have accepted that and some people haven't and i yeah. think that this kind of this little nonsense thing kind of goes into that same realm of like this is not traditional it's not what i what i'm used to so yeah. i don't like it you know yeah but i think that you have to be open-minded to whatever kind of comes along. I have so um, much respect hey, it for it, bro. Hey, blew him up, though. I got so much yeah. respect. I never heard oh. of him before that mm -hmm. song. Have you heard his old music, though? No. Dude, it's crazy. It's not It's, it's not nothing like it? No, no, it's just rap music. Is it just wow. trap trap stuff? Yeah. Basically? Dude, he just, well, then he fucking hit gold with that. Cause oh, yeah. He just figured out something. That, Everybody does it, man. Yeah. If you want to call it culture, vulture, whatever, like, it is just how well, it is. Well, yeah, I think it's about uh, who, everybody who does a song with a Latin artist now. Yeah. It's, it's, almost, ultra, it, like, it's just it how is. it is. It almost seemed like it was, like, sort of like a, a satire song, though, you know? Yeah. And I think yeah. also that I mean, if you look at the music video. The music video was great, though. And I think that's another thing also that why people didn't care for it so much because it almost seemed like he was making fun of the whole thing yeah you know and that kind of rubbed people the wrong way maybe you know i liked it man i went to go visit my family in cali over the weekend mm -hmm. and i got my i think he's like four years old and i get to his house my my, my little my, my little my, my cousin's kid mm -hmm. we call him nephew but he's not you know he's my cousin's <laughs> yeah, kid. But that's yeah. how it works but that's right. how mexicans do it <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah i get i get to the party and that song's playing yeah and he loves that song mm -hmm. and he's four years old i'm like oh okay so little nas knows what he's doing because if they're getting the attention at that young of an age and then that's catching on they know something i don't for sure you yeah. know what I mean? because i i first saw the video um like a week or two ago before mm -hmm. i even went to cali yeah. i didn't think anything of it i was like oh that's interesting but then to see that many people play it and mm -hmm. i guess it's playing on radio too and yeah it is i yeah. hear it all the time at every you know, bar and club and that I, song, go to. I think that's a that's an example of like how you know with when, when with songwriting these days like hooks are such an important thing like yep. they've become more important than a lot of other aspects of songwriting that used to be more important like um like the actual lyrical content being right. something of value and, and ha something r deep and and you know thought provoking yeah. which which you know is great but not everybody likes that and a lot of people just like a party jam or something that like makes them feel good or something that gives you a nice vibe mm -hmm. you know and so a lot of songs nowadays are just that yeah it's like they're a nice vibe or they have a catchy thing to it or it's like a you know some it's like that it's just why that baby shark song got so big <laughs> dude they did a mexican <laughs> band cover <laughs> like that's a hook that did, 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 did. like yeah you know so uh, like i and that's and hooks are also consumable by everybody all ages right because you know I mean? right. like the repetitiveness but yeah. it's but such an easy thing to attain oh yeah. you know for the but human. i think that's part of the thing though man mm -hmm. i think like you know people who do these baby shark songs like they're smart. Like yeah. they get it. They're they they know what There's sells, it, and they're and they're making mm -hmm. money off of it. Like and you know and who knows maybe whoever wrote that baby shark song I don't know who wrote it or There's think, something. I think it's a Korean There's something song. in the music like it's a world. Song? I'm I think sure it's from Korea. Like it's a from a Korean children's show. Or something. Yeah, something wow. like that.